And to all of you watching here, come close to the screen and listen. People don't have to like you. People don't have to love you. They don't even have to respect you. But when you look in the mirror, you better love what you see. You better love what you see. What's up, y'all? Sugar Down back again with another mother freaking video. So if y'all are new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've been here, hey lovely. Today is going to be a night routine video. Y'all, I'm super excited. Night routine video, night routine video. Y'all, this is literally my first time doing a night routine video and I'm just trying to try something different. This is gonna be like a short little video, but that's okay. I feel like the things I use and the things I do, y'all, can really help somebody at their night routines because I feel like the night routine plays a big part and like the way you wake up in your morning, like your morning routines, your night routine plays a big part in your morning routines. So I feel like my night routine, my five to nine, babes, five to nine. I just got off of work, y'all see I'm in a collar shirt. It's 520 at the moment. And right now I'm finna take off my work clothes and get ready to go take a walk. Do a little jog outside, y'all. I was good to do a walk. It's always good to do some type of exercise, y'all. No matter what it is, no matter what you're doing. Either if it's working out for real or walking, jogging for 45 minutes, it's you know, mandatory. You know, get your mind off of things, let you help you breathe, like woosa. Even if you meditate, like that works as well. Y'all remember I used to meditate all the time because of my anxiety and everything y'all had really really bad panic attacks and anxiety and meditating always helped me babes nothing helped but meditating if i just woosa and just thought about my breathing it literally helped but without further ado y'all i'm gonna stop talking we're gonna get straight into this video y'all i'm gonna put on my clothes and then i'm gonna be right back with y'all okay so y'all i just got on this shirt please don't mind the mess y'all i have to clean up my room it's literally a disaster I just got on this shirt and this Nike shirt and some shorts. I don't have like a cute, like cute workout set, y'all. I need to give me some cute workout sets, but I don't have any. So right now, y'all, I'm finna fix my hair. We really do need to like fix up my room, y'all. Like it looks a mess. I can't lie. Y'all, this hair was good. I can't lie until like a week later and it's like shedding more and i don't like that because i don't like to have to clean up so much here I'm gonna get my water ready y'all and then we're gonna go ahead and head out on my walk I'm super excited I really hope y'all like this video motivates people to just want to get up and do you know more healthier things or like better things for their night routine I want y'all to really see like what I be doing as my night routine because I be trying like y'all I used to not have no night routine at all like I used to not do stuff like this i didn't want to work out i didn't want to run i just wanted to take a shower and then lay in the bed all day and just watch tv like but that's not what i do anymore y'all i have to take care of my body my lifestyle like my mind everything matters for real for real so i hope this really like you know make somebody want to have a night routine because it's, it's actually good to have a night routine like so before i start I just do a few stretches before i start running so i won't be Cramping or anything, y'all, of course. So I'm only gonna be walking 45 minutes. So we're gonna do a 45 minute timer. Let's go, y'all. And also, y'all, I didn't tell y'all the reason why I'm starting to like walk more as well and like you know just do little stuff as in read we're gonna get more into that later but y'all me and my friend is starting the 75 soft girl challenge i don't know if i told y'all that or let y'all know but yeah so the 75 soft girl challenge y'all we have to start 
you know, being more healthy. Hold on, y'all. Back to what I was saying, y'all. The 70 girl, the 75 South Girl Challenge is you have to drink a gallon of water each day, and then you have to do a two 45 minute workouts. I've only been doing one 45 minute workout, y'all. I'm trying to get used to doing two workouts a day, but I'm not used to that, so I have not been doing that. Um, and then also you have to eat really healthy. You have to read a book a day, five pages a day. So yeah, y'all, it's really motivational and I've been doing good. I've been starting off good. My first week was a little rocky, but that's okay. Y'all can't see me. My first week was a little rocky, but that's okay. Oh, hell no. Y'all, I don't like dogs, unless it's my dog. It's not my dog. I'm not messing with it. That dog better not run up on me, babes. I'ma kick the mess out the dog. But, play with somebody else. I'm walking, doing my walk. I like dogs, y'all. That's the thing, like, I like dogs, cause I have a dog. But like, stray dogs or anybody else dog, I don't know what type of timing they be on. Anyways, let's do this walk. 42 minutes. Let's see how far I can go. Last time I was walking, y'all run really, really far in the neighborhood. And I don't know if I'm gonna do that this time. But we're gonna see. about the stuff I just used in the bathroom y'all this is one of my best my favorite body scrubs ever y'all it smells so freaking good like it's gonna have you smelling so good you smell like a candle like it's a clean nice rose smell it smells so good y'all and then this is what I used to clean cleanse my face I don't know if I showed y'all before I probably have but this is my cleanser that I use always and then I just now trying out this body wash y'all and I actually like it I usually try out a different body wash. This is at my boyfriend's house, y'all, so I can't show y'all because that's literally my everyday body wash I used to use all the time, y'all, and I loved it. But that's it for, like, my body routine. Now I'm going to show y'all, like, my face routine and, like, my teeth routine and stuff like that. And then also, this is what I use for my deodorant. I love this spray on deodorant, y'all. It's cool. Essentials. Scent in the last 72 hours. Dry spray. Lo love it smells really good and then I use this to cleanse my face after using the face wash I use this um what is this called y'all witch hazel I use this witch hazel it blemishes clearing it's a blemish clearing toner it's two different witch hazel y'all this one is the one that it's like a toner and it helps acne and breaks out breakouts and then it's another one like this that is just a regular witch hazel so I just sprayed it on a paper towel, y'all. I don't usually use like the, um, it smells really good too. But, um, I don't usually use like the little cotton things and I should, but I feel like a paper towel is literally similar. Like it's the same thing. Literally like it's going to clean your face the same way I feel like. So I just used a paper towel gets all that dirt off Oof, the dirt you couldn't get with that cleanser and then I just let that dry air dry it and then y'all also use this one but this one smells really good too but I I love the rose better y'all this smells like coconut like you'll smell like coconut but the rose smells so freaking good it's like it smells so good y'all and then after that y'all I go I go on with my brightening toner and it you just unscrew it. Hold on, I got a piece of hair right there. You just unscrew it and it has a hole right here. So you just pour it in your hand. And then dab it on your face. Don't rub it. Dab it. 
Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm not even showing y'all for real. Like that. Y'all see how it's like shining? You let it air dry. The next thing I use after that, y'all, it's like a process, y'all, for real. I use the discoloration correcting serum after this one. And then this one you have to shake up first. I'm gonna let this air dry. This one, what does it do? Uh, improves the appearance of hyperpigmentation in dark spots. I do have a little dark spots, y'all. They just be like little dark spots that like I want to be going. Like even this right here, I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all can't really see that. It's like right there. But for some reason, you gotta shake this up, y'all. Fizzes up like this, y'all. And it comes out white. Before. you put it on your skin and then those two that i just put on my skin y'all you have to put it on before you use like any oils or like anything because these are like toners and like cleansers and then i use this one y'all the hydro hyaluronic acid serum let me know if i'm saying that right y'all hyaluronic acid serum and then it delivers deep hydration to plump the appearance of fine lines period and just put two drops it's really been helping my face like clear up like it's been looking really really good i'll get like two one or two bumps from here and there but overall like my face be looking really really good and like moisturized so i'll just continue using it and then i thought this one, these two were the same one but it's not Nia some I don't know y'all how to say that but this is another serum which is the last serum to refine signs of texture and improve appearance of pores if you do it in the right step y'all it will help seriously like and then I don't do this too much y'all I don't do it um in the morning sometimes if I do it at night I don't do it in the morning and if I do it in the morning I don't do it at night just because I don't want to put too much moisturizer or like too much product on my face a day like it, it's cool to do it once a day but like twice three times a day i feel like that's way too much just gonna have your face all clogged up and this one y'all it's just a sunscreen it's a protector for all the products i just put on my face and that's what this one is gonna do it's a lotion a protection for all skin types yeah it says minimal white cast sunscreen lotion with uva uvb protection for all skin types after you girls looking shiny looking moisturized after that i brush my teeth this two brush i use i'll show y'all about these two brush from target and y'all they actually on the side they actually really hurt like they hurt
my phone because my, my, not my iPad, my camera ran out of storage, y'all, and I lost my other memory card, so we just waiting on it to, you know, upload some videos. But I folded out my clothes, y'all, and then my room is super clean now. Hanged up my bears. We'll put my bears up, look, my candle. You know, the only thing I need to fix, y'all, is that pile of clothes over there. But I just don't have nowhere to put them. Like, y'all, I have so many clothes. I'm going to show y'all my uh closet as well like i put up a lot of st all that stuff that was down there y'all fixed it and then them is like clothes that i don't have nowhere to put y'all and then these are some clothes that clothes i'm trying to give away y'all so yeah i need to take those to goodwill because i don't have anywhere to put them so this is the acai bowl y'all that i bought from Publix. it comes with it's homemade i already opened it because i have to check it but it comes with homemade granola and coconut and then it comes with, uh oh, comes with the strawberries and the blueberries in it, y'all. That's pretty good. That's really good. Ooh, I might have to start getting these, y'all. But that's okay. This will work. But I put cucumbers, avocado, onions, jalapeno, cream cheese, chive, and onion cream cheese. It don't take no time at all, y'all. Literally, bagel seasoning. <music> finally this is the end of my night routine y'all the last thing i'm going to do is read a scripture out of my bible um i usually do it every morning every time i wake up but i couldn't do it to today because not i couldn't do it but i wasn't able to do it because i woke up so late and i was rushing to work so i, I passed this but we are going to read it tonight because this is part of the 75 soft girl challenge and also this is part of my routine like i don't miss a bible scripture okay i need it a day but y'all y'all should really make this i have to shake it and all of that y'all you have to shake it i ain't gonna lie and you do need a bigger bowl than this make sure it's just wide and like spacious so you have like enough space to shake it and do all of that y'all i did have like a taller one but I have no idea where it went, y'all. But this is what it looks like. All the stuff is probably at the bottom. It's supposed to be looking like that. <laughs> All the stuff is probably at the bottom, y'all. Because this is, like, so tiny. But that's okay. You're going to get to it eventually. That's so good. So busting. Definitely recommend. And I recommend you trying this as well. I know people be like read King James version, and I have the King James version right here. This is the regular one, my King James version. But I feel like the English version helped me understand better, y'all. It just really does, and it literally tells. I feel like it tells me everything. So if I am missing some, God forbid, He's gonna show me every time. But Today's chapter, we're going to read chapter 52. I left off on chapter 51. Y'all literally mark. This is the least I've ever marked, but I usually mark more than this, y'all. All right, if we go page for page, I got marks in every page. Of, oh, I just lost my... Yeah, y'all, literally every page you turn to, I have highlights in it. So, 52 psalms chapter 52 we're just gonna read babes and i'm gonna explain to y'all and pull out the uh important parts but i'm gonna read this by myself For this chapter y'all the name of this chapter was god's judgment and grace so it was basically talking about how the wicked men lie and cheat and steal and try to put take people down with their sharp tongues 
and sharp tongue razors like and stuff like that and the part that i highlighted that i liked the most was righteous people will see this and be afraid then they will laugh at you and say look here look look Here's a man who did not depend on God for safety, but trusted instead in his great wealth and looked for security in being wicked. But I am like an olive tree growing in the house of God. I trust in his constant love forever and ever. I will always thank you, God, for what you have done. In the presence of your people, I will proclaim that you are good. I really like that part, y'all, because it did start off a little rocky. I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, like, this is crazy. But always at the end of every chapter, y'all, it explains, like, at the end what the good righteous people should do when like evil wicked people come towards you with hate and just you know wanting to bring you down with their words and sharp tongue that they be using against you like the evil people be trying to bring you down and basically this is telling me that the righteous people we are righteous people if you're watching this i hope you're righteous because we all need to be righteous people you know we all need to be kind and good nice people you feel me don't try to put the next person down don't try to be evil you know why try to bring evil in the next person's life you know we all want to be happy we all want to smile why not show what you want give to other people what you want you feel me so i just feel like that's just what this was telling me and that to praise god forever and because he will always have constant love and to just thank God and just be kind and loving and depend on God for safety. Follow God, basically. That's what this was telling me. So just follow God. And yeah, this was really good, y'all. I usually read more than this, but you know, I don't want to read too much on camera. You know, a lot of people don't feel comfortable, you know, and this is not like a big thing that's on my channel. I, every video that you watch though, you're gonna hear me talk about God. Like I always talk about God in every last one of my videos, but I don't just have like a separate video of just me talking about God. And maybe I'll get there one day. Maybe I'll be like, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what I want to do, you know? But I did wanna share that with y'all and I do do this every single day. So it's not like, you know, I'm just doing it out of ordinary anything like that like but that's it y'all and i'm literally finna chill in the bed and eat my food and watch me some youtube and netflix <laughs> this is a good like chapter y'all and i wish i would have read more for y'all but you know it is what it is it's just what i was feeling at the moment um i might read some more when you know i end the camera but for right now this is just what the way i'm feeling um yeah i lie y'all i'm gonna read one more scripture to y'all because i just feel like i need to read more so the name of this chapter is the wickedness of men i'm gonna read it y'all and i'm gonna say with y'all okay i'm gonna read this to y'all because i just feel like the holy spirit is telling me to y'all this is crazy like i've never done this before but i'm gonna put this out there and you know it is what it is, babe. Like, it is what it is, so. Just listen real close. Bulls say to themselves, there is no God. They are all corrupt and they have done terrible things. There is no one who does what is right. God looks down from heaven at mankind to see if there are any who are wise, any who worship him, but they have all turned away. They are all equal bad, equally bad. Not one of them does what is right, not a single one. Don't they, God asks, are these evildoers ignorant? They live by robbing my people and they never pray to me. But then they will become terrified as they have never been before. For God will scatter the bones of the enemies of his people. God has rejected them and so Israel will totally defeat them. How I pray that victory will come to Israel from Zion. How happy the people of Israel will be when God makes them prosperous, prosperous again. Basically, that little chapter was saying how God's people on earth are doing wrongdoings and they're not coming to him and praying to him. They're not even acknowledging him. You know, he's like, at least acknowledge me. Like, I died for y'all. Like, at least acknowledge me is what he's saying. Like, at least acknowledge me. At least pray to me. Like, I know you're doing wrongdoings because God is very forgiving. Like, he loves all of us. So, anything you do, he's like, Ugh that's bad but as long as you come to me as long as you pray to me as long as you ask for forgiveness as long as you ask for help he's going to be there for you like and you know your life not may not be as bad as it is if you just pray you know and he's just like acknowledge me you know so you can live forever if you wanted to but yeah y'all that's the end of my reading session today 
I feel like this is really, really good. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I am now in bed and eating my food and watching my show, y'all. Y'all should really watch this show. Look at this acai bowl, y'all. Looks really, really good. But y'all should really watch this show. It's called The Perfect Couple. They ain't so perfect, baby. <laughs> but it's really, really good. And um, that was my first time ever showing y'all like part of my Bible study. I used to do it early in the morning. So I'm not used to doing it at night. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video, my night routine. If y'all want more videos like this, please comment down below or like the video, subscribe, whatever you want to do to let me know that you want to see more videos like this. I do got two other videos I'm editing at the moment. So y'all bear with me. I'm trying to get this video out as as fast as I can. Love y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for y'all to see more videos. Bye. -bye.